What's up guys and welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish on TV. Now this, I know, is not a typical start to a video. We're not necessarily on the water yet, but we're getting there. This is actually a tournament video. I don't normally film my tournaments, but this one's the last tournament of the year. I want to take you guys along. It's a two redfish tournament, weight in slot, so it should be a lot of fun. Cora's actually not fishing it. She's running Capital Coast, so I actually have to pull an all-nighter tonight. We'll get into more of that later, but first things first. I need to get all this deer corn out of the bed of this truck and get some kayaks in it. Well, that was easy. All right, so the parents are going to be taking that truck with the Hobies in the back down to Corpus. I'm going to go get Cora now, take her to her first leg of the Capital Coast race. I'm going to be in that, changing over vehicles, and then i got a little surprise for you in this one too, picking up a new whip. So it's 5.56. Cora's first leg, I think, is at 1 a.m. It's going to be a long night. And here she is. Hello. <laughs> So we are somewhere in, where are we? Cairns. Cairns. Cairn City. Cairns City. Of All our Cairns City viewers, what's up? Getting ready for her run. Time check, 10.39 p.m. I won't run till 12.30 a.m. So we've still got like two hours to kill before her run starts. And then we're going to cheer her on a little bit. And then I'm going to head the rest of the way down to Corpus for the tournament. Yeah. You guys can check up on me. Make sure I don't get eaten alive or something. So how uh, how much did you prepare for this run? Literally, don't prepare for races. <laughs> not which is very not in the slightest. So I do a few of them a year. All right, two hours and Core is running. In the meantime, Core and I are gonna watch some bone ham. Oh yeah. Excited? No. Yes. It's only uh 103. It's really one o'clock. It's 103 right now. No, oh, I don't even want even tired right now. You're lit up. You got a lot of flashing what? lights on you. You got this. I hope so. <laughs> you ready? You reflected so hard. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> You're like a transformer. What am I <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so unnecessary. That dude's doing 90 miles an hour, and you get to run on this highway. That that's, makes me feel really good. That's so unnecessary. That Driving makes me that feel far. real, real good. All right, babes. Good luck. You got this. You got this. <laughs> That's what she's running against. Oh, God. <laughs> Cora is absolutely killing it right now. Killing it. I think we're about four miles in, and she's still just cruising. I'm so proud of her. Doing things that I definitely couldn't do. Killed it. Thanks. Killed it. Can you see it? You can't see it, no. She was lit up like a Christmas tree. All right, post-game interview. How was it? Good for not training since like August. Well, I didn't even train in August, but <laughs> it was good. The weather's nice. It's pretty chilly. So, Time check. I don't know. It's 2.10. 2.10 in the morning. She finished her run. Good job, babe. Thanks. Now, now, I, sleep in the van. now I need to get on the road because I've got quite the drive in front of me. It's not that far. I know you can't actually see anything, but uh, this is my drive now. It says one hour, 35 minutes till I get to my spot. That would put me in there at about 4 a.m. Yay. Sit rep, 4 a.m. I have arrived. I better catch a lot of fish. Alrighty guys, I just missed my first fish in the morning when I wasn't filming. Decided to get the camera ready for you guys. It was kind of hectic since the last time I talked to you guys. Oh, I just missed a blow up. It looks like trout. I need redfish, but I wouldn't mind getting this boat a little bit slimed. Anyway, before that trout distracted me, I had to get my parents all situated. I had to rig all my rods. I had to pick this bad boy up. So I actually didn't end up getting any sleep. 
So I am on an all-nighter fishing a tournament. Now that's ideal. Starting off the morning, grass flat, mixed shell, top water. Right at sunup. Should spell success. Missed two trout so far. But yeah guys, let me know. I want you guys to actually guess what kayak I'm in. Can you tell based on just this view right here? Leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Now let's just catch a fish. I'm really just gonna try to figure out if the redfish are really shallow, which usually on a very high tide, they do tend to go that way. And if the trout are farther out or vice versa or what. I've had two trout blow-ups farther away from the bank. Heard a trout, but I'm seeing that some stuff, a lot of bait really shallow, so that might be redfish under them or around them. That's a red. Oh, yes. There he is. There he is. Redfish for sure. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. And be a keeper. Stay pinned and be a keeper. He's going to be close, but he's the first fish of the morning. And it proves the redfish are here. And we broke in the comp. Oh, wait, I can't tell you what it is. I don't know if he's gonna make it. I saw some stuff going on up shallow. Casted to it, and of course, there he is. I don't think he's gonna quite make it, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign, it's a good sign. She dog. Be there. He's not quite gonna do it. 19 and a half. I'll take that to start the morning though. We're on the board, I think he splashed y'all. 19 and a half, back in the water he goes. There he goes. Boom. Boom, let's get another one, a bigger one. That was a little dinker trout. We don't need you, buddy, stay away. Not today, any other day, I'd say jump all over it. Today, I need you to just leave me alone. Of course I'm not recording. I got a trout. Skinny, skinny, skinny trout. What are you doing, man? Stop eating lures. Eat real bait, man. You're skinny. Alright, last cast with the top water. That's a trout. It's a good trout. <laughs> That's a keeper trout. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but they're fun. On a top water too. Ugh. I've been getting some good blow-ups. I know they're trout, not redfish. But the fact that there are fish here gives me a little bit of confidence. I literally said last cast with the top water and he decided to hit it, so I need to uh, continue throwing it, I think. They're still eating it. There's no reason to switch. Come here. Can't quite do it. This guy's gonna be the freaking same size, 19 and a half. 19 is what I'm calling. Oh yeah, right on the dot, 19. Unders for days. Yeah. Sit rep, 11.04. Grind, grind, grind. Sleep deprivation is definitely getting to me at this point. It took me like 20 minutes to rig a popping cork. But that is what time it is, guys. It is popping cork time. But it did about six miles out. I'm gonna make about a six mile pedal back. I got about two hours to get back so I can use the wind, drift with the wind, and uh, throw this pop and cork and gulp and hopefully grind out two fish, just two keepers. I don't even care if they're 21 inches. I just want two keepers. I want something to show for this day on the tournament. It's been fun anyway, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this little style of episode. It's a little bit different, I know. But let's go catch one more fish. Well, two more fish, two more fish. Eat it. Oh my god, if you don't eat this damn thing, I'm gonna kill you, redfish. Eat it. I'm gonna put it in your face, and you're gonna... Spook, okay. 
Okay, okay. There are redfish all over here. There goes a keeper. Alright, there's redfish here. I need to go to the popping cork. Yes, that's the one. Yes, that's the one. Stay pinned. Nope. That's a keeper. That's a freaking keeper. So yeah, right about there is when bad stuff started happening. Uh, I ended up losing that fish, which really wasn't the big deal, wasn't the bad part about it. Right at that cut point is when the SD card got full. So then I had to put a new SD card in. Well, that SD card proceeded to fail and corrupt, and I lost all the footage for the second half of the day, which included another handful of redfish on gold spoons and topwaters, and also included me losing, but jumping, a tarpon on a gold spoon in 14 inches of water. It was about two feet long, it jumped four times within five feet of the kayak, and then it got off. Unfortunately, didn't get any of that on footage because my SD card continued to corrupt. So uh, yeah, that thing's in the trash now, and I do apologize for losing that, believe me, I think I'm more upset about it than you guys are. But at the end of the day, it was fun, caught fish, really proud of Cora for finishing that run. She's got some more runs coming up, so leave some love for her in the comments below. Also, gonna be doing a giveaway for Thanksgiving and also a giveaway for Christmas, so Stay tuned for that. Uh, heading down to do some more fishing with Thresher and Jeff this week. If you guys want to see some sort of challenge video, let me know in the comments below so we can maybe film a challenge with them again because the last challenge was very fun. So if you haven't seen that one, click right there, uh, right there. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe over there. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Probably shouldn't film and drive. <laughs>